I, for ages, was sort of uh, slightly musically schizophrenic. My father was very, very eclectic. I'd be summoned from, the, from my bedroom to come downstairs and listen to the radio at, or, or whatever he was playing. And sometimes it would be because he's listening to um, Bartok's Miraculous Mandarin. He had the score open and I had to study with him how amazing the orchestration was. But equally likely, I'd be summoned into his music room because he was checking out the fretless bass playing on Paul Simon's You Can Call Me Out. It's got some reverse bass thing at the end. And he said, you've got to check this out. It's unbelievable. I was just as exposed to Benjamin Britten as I was pop music, and he, he didn't really distinguish, you know, he wasn't snobby about music at all, which was great. I first fell in love with Kev's because when I, all those times I was summoned to Dad's music room, he had a pair of uh, 1972 Kev's. So Dad's room was associated with like, oh, look at these, and they're like this big, and with a beautiful walnut, all the rest of it, you know, there was no messing around with his speakers, so it was like, oh, yes. One day, I'll, I'll get some of those, because he was also, so often busy in the music room. I kind of try and sing, no, 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 don't play it, I'm, writing, I'm going in, I'm writing. It's like, ah, oh, so close. Nearly got to listen to the big speaks, but you know, maybe like when, when he's having lunch, I'll sneak in there.